Besties, besties, besties. I, I just started the video and I'm already about to cry. Hello. You guys are like, Lily, what's happening? This energy's so chaotic. Hello, you guys. My Kincaidians. We took a little break. We took a little break for a while. But I feel like now we've entered this new season. Um, just everybody. Like, I don't know. It feels like really good to be back. I'm going to post this. Okay, so today it's Tuesday. And today's actually going to be an epic video. Y'all have been asking me this for forever. I've been wanting to do it, but I'm like, oh, it's going to take forever. But it's worth it. We're going to clean out my bookshelves. We're not cleaning them out. But I'm going to, like, take every book out and just quickly show you tell you what I thought of it. Y'all know I'm addicted to reading. Okay, wait, <laughs> oh my God, there's so much to talk about. And then I'm about to go to the car. If you're not following me on TikTok, where have you been? Um, follow me on TikTok, it's linked below because I'm about to go to the car and I need to play the demo vocals of a certain special song and post it on TikTok just because I just listened to it, I'm crying. But also, okay, oh my God, this video is so chaotic, but I love it. Um, anyways, chaotic energy, few things first and then we'll get into the video um i wanted to say hello to anyone who's new hello to my kincadians i love that we have a name now i'm working on writing a national anthem you may think i'm crazy but you know what this is something i have really i have fun with and you know i'm an only child i was always very independent i had i always was the person who had like i didn't have a friend group i just had like individual friends and i don't know this feels like the first time that i'm a part of something and like that you guys are a part of it with me and it just like it makes me very excited okay it, it makes me feel very excited and so i want to make a national anthem so do not come for me um, but yes, we'll definitely up keep you updated on that. My neighbors are probably like, why is this girl shouting? What's happening? Is she okay? Yes, I'm better, better than ever. I'm happier than ever as Billie Eilish, Queen Billie Eilish said, um, so much. So anyways, welcome to the YouTube channel or welcome back. My name is Lily Kincaid. Obviously, maybe you found me on TikTok. Actually, okay, wait, will you guys comment like right now? Um, how you found me? Cause I always think it's so interesting. Like, was it through a friend? Was it through Instagram, Twitter? a show, TikTok, for you page, let me know because I always find it so interesting or like what video you found me from just because I think it's cool and like everything ends up working out for a reason and I'm so grateful that you're here and I'm so like, you have no idea. So the reason why I'm like so hyped right now, aside from getting to talk to you guys, which I feel like I'm going to LA tomorrow, you guys know, to Girl Boss Away and uh, with my dogs and my mom, Ellie, and I'm excited. I'll be doing lots of videos there just because, I don't know, I always feel like I do a lot of videos there because it's here, it's... This is the one day where it's been sunny this week that I've been here. It has been, it thunderstormed this morning. I woke up at 3 a.m. I was also addicted. I also was reading a book and I could not put it down. We'll talk about that in a second. But um, you guys, I looked at the Spotify. I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out because like, I'm definitely gonna cry. I'm gonna cry tomorrow. I already know on the airplane, I'm gonna be sobbing when I, tomorrow morning, we're all gonna wake up and it's gonna be at a million streams. And like, I'm not ready. Cause it's like crazy. So, my, my song reel, our song reel, that connected a lot of us, uh, is that I looked at it and it's 990,000 something streams. On that spot, it already has a million total if we counted like Apple and everything too. I don't know if I like my hair like this. I put this little clip in it. Usually I wear it down, but it's kind of good out of my face. Um, but you guys, I woke up and it has 990,000 something something streams just on Spotify. And I don't know, it just means so much because it's actually been like almost exactly a year since I posted my first TikTok of the demo. And like, y'all know, some of you guys have been with me since then, like that's when you found me. And some of you guys even before, which I'm so thankful for, sweet and low era, let's go. Um, but a lot of you guys, it was through that TikTok in last summer, last April, and like, oh, I've just been working so hard. And it's a lot, like you do not see behind the scenes, but it's like, it feels so good because it's like, I finally don't feel as alone. Like I finally feel like, like I said, like I have a little friend group and we get to like celebrate these things. Cause like, while well, it's great. And it's like, oh, it's so cool to celebrate alone. Like it's not, it's really cool to celebrate it. And like, I don't know, just to see you like, to like, even when I take screenshots and I'm like, oh my God, we're 25,000 away. And like getting to post them in a discord side note, join if you haven't. Um, it just makes me really excited. Cause it just feels like we can, we get to celebrate together. But anyways, yes, okay. I'm gonna cry because that's about to hit a million streams. And that song will be our first song to hit a million streams. And it is doing that all independently with no Spotify editorial playlisting, nothing for that. And so I think it's really cool and really fitting because it's it's literally just us. It's just like me playing it or putting on playlists, you guys sharing it with your friends, like you guys listening to it in the car. Um, and like, I don't know, like it just means a lot. Cause it's like, it just shows you, like I hope 
I hope that this just shows you, like, go for your dreams. Go for your dreams, okay? Even if nobody is, like, believing in you, the fact that you believe in it is enough for it to make it worth it to go for it. If you believe it and you have that feeling in your heart and your gut that, like, you need to do that, I want you to do it. If people are judging you or making fun of you, it's because they wish that they had the bravery and the courage that you do to go after their dreams. So, if anything, let this be a lesson because I've been... Girl busting away, and I'm telling you, keep going, okay? We'll pay off, keep going, keep going, keep going. My lips are super chapped because of the weather here, and my eyes crying because I'm emotional, but also because of my allergies. But anyways, okay, now onto the actual YouTube video of the day. Also, when this goes live, I'm gonna be on the airplane, so I have no service for like a long time. So y'all better hype it up, because when I land, when I land, I'm gonna look, and I'm gonna see who has commented and who has watched it first. Okay, I got hyped for a second, okay. Okay, now that was like a motivational speech rant thing. <laughs> oh my God, that was kind of crazy. Okay, I got a Kindle. Now you may be like, Lily, I thought you said you didn't like reading on your phone, on devices, etc. I don't, but I saw t everything is TikTok. Like, honestly, I love TikTok. We used to hate on it, but honestly, we love it. We love it. Um, I read so many books, as you guys know. I'm a big reader because... <laughs> I don't know, I feel like being an only child and sometimes being alone, like I love just being transported into worlds and like different stories and like, I don't know, like I literally love reading. Like it's one of my favorite things in the world. Um, I don't know, like I just love reading. There's really nothing else to say about that. But um, I saw, this literally happened yesterday. I can't read the books on my phone just because like my phone is what I do for work and so like my eyes physically hurt. Plus, like, I don't want to be on my phone when I'm reading because that's, like, my... Whenever I have free time, I'm, like, to relax and to, like, recharge after working. That's when I like to read. So I couldn't do it on my phone. But then yesterday... So I would, like, get paperback books from Amazon or, like, Target or whatever. But they're so expensive. Like, they actually do start to add up. Like, I went to Barnes & Noble. I had gift cards from, like, my birthday and stuff. But it was, like, $100 for, like, three books. Um, which I wanted to read them and they were new. But, like, still, it's, like, there's got to be a better way that's better for the environment, too. And not wasting so much paper. And... Yesterday morning, this happened so quickly. Yesterday morning, I saw a girl. I don't know what her TikTok handle was, but she's beautiful. Um, and she was like talking about just a book. It was like a book recommendation thing. And like she had her Kindle and I was like, hmm. I was like, maybe I can get on the Kindle train if people on BookTok are doing it. Then I looked it up. I literally got delivered the same day. Um, it was the cost. I just ordered, I canceled. I had ordered three books from Amazon, like three paperback books I was gonna read because I'm out of books. I needed new books to read. I literally returned, like I pressed like cancel order on those three books and it was the same price as the Kindle. And I get like two months free of, um, this is not an advertisement, but one day, one day when I have a book, Amazon will sponsor me. Um, but I was like, oh my gosh, I, I pressed cancel order on the books and the book total was like the same as the Kindle. So I was like, why don't I get the Kindle? I get three months of free of like the unlimited and I can read like a bunch of books. You guys, guess what book I read last night? And I woke up at 3 a.m. to finish it because it was that good. And I was sobbing. If I have the picture, and if I remember to put the picture in, I'm going to put it right here. I was literally sobbing this morning at 3 a.m. I had to wake up to finish the book. I read Colleen Hoover's new book, um, Reminders of Him, I believe it's what it's called. Let me just tell you, I was sobbing. I was sobbing. Sobbing. Um, but yeah, I got a little Kindle. I'm going to go get it, actually, so you can see it. Let me go get it. Also, I love this color. Why do I feel so cool? This isn't even sponsored. Amazon, I should be getting Amazon free promo. Um, but literally, okay, why do I feel so cool? Like, I'm sorry, everyone's gonna be a little Kindle girly. This summer, everyone's gonna be a Kindle girly. So ask for it for your birthdays or whatever, put it on your wish list. Um, literally, this was the same price as like the books I was buying. So I was like, I'm gonna, I'll get this. Uh, I read reviews on it on like uh, YouTube and stuff. And I asked my friends who have had, who have one. And they were like, oh my God, it's so good. Like, and I love it. So I just read... Reminders of him, which was amazing. I need to download some books for my flight, but it just, it's so cute. It's so tiny and it's just so like, hmm, cute vibes, cute vibes. Like I just feel so like, I feel like a, sp not a spy, but I just feel like I'm like, I just feel like, okay, bougie, like it's waterproof. So I can, you know, I read books in the bathtub and I literally get them soaking wet and then they like are all crumpled. You can put this in, you can take this to the beach. Like, woo, your girl's gonna be reading and at the beach coming up with song ideas all summer. Anyways, point aside from that, if anybody has any good book recommendations, drop them below. Also, if there's any on like Kindle Unlimited or whatever it's called, drop those below. Now 
on to the fun stuff, my bookshelves. So I have a bunch of bookshelves. I also have some books in LA. I also have read some books that then my, my, I gave to my friends or my friends gave me. So I don't have a ton of books here. I mean, I'm saying that kind of, I do have a lot of books here, but I don't have every book I've read. But I'm just going to kind of start showing you guys the books that I've read this year and last year starting my own little book collection. Like one day uh, in my house, like one day when I have a house, I wanna build like, I'm definitely gonna have a studio, of course, but then I wanna have like a library because book reading and like, you know, and I wanted to have ladders and like, I'm gonna put books in there. So I'm starting my book collection now. Um, okay. Okay, my lips are so chopped. Also, I was wearing my Taylor cardigan today and I just wanna say how much I love my Taylor cardigan because I remember this time when I got this cardigan. I remember even last summer just wearing it and like, when boys were breaking my heart and when I was crying, my cardigan was always there for me, okay? My cardigan never left. You know? Anyways, I just got too hot because I was like so amped up. Okay, we're gonna start off with the with the top shelf of books. Or no, we're gonna do we're gonna start off with the middle shelf of books. The middle shelf of books. Um, I'm just gonna kinda get them out, show them to you. We shall see how long this takes. You guys, should I make like a giant, um, should I make like a giant pile of the books at the end and like take a picture of it? Cause this is actually psychotic. Like Lily, you have too many books. Also this clip is like sliding out of my hair. So we're going to take it off. Ooh, okay. There we go, girl. Bombshell vibes. I'm literally crazy. Okay. These are like the first little stack of them, but I'm going to make a giant pile. And then at the end, I'll make the thumbnail, like my giant pile of books. It's going to be kind of wild. I actually do want to put my hair back. Okay, this video is cut. You know I don't really edit my videos because like I literally do them on my phone and I upload them straight to my phone. If anything, if I do like a picture in a picture, that's like the only editing thing I know how to do. And I'll do that in literally iMovie. Okay. One of Us is Lying. Read this in 2020, I think. I'm pretty sure I read this. Like I read this during the Panini and then the sequel. Love. Okay, this is really good. I read this in, in 2020. Pretty Things by Janelle Brown. Okay, if there's a sweet Kincaidian out there watching this video... I'll pin your comment if you make a list of all the books and then the author. I would love that so much. I will pin your comment. Uh, so if somebody wants to do that, the first person watching this or whoever is early to the video, if you do that, I will literally love you forever. And I'm sure everybody else will thank you um, and really appreciate that as well. But okay. Yeah, these are by Karen M. McManus. Both of those. Pretty Things by Janelle Brown. Also, if I'm butchering these names right, I hope I'm saying them right. Butchering, like saying them wrong, but I hope I'm saying right. Okay, this is really good. Something She's Not Telling Us by Darcy Bell. Love. They'll Never Catch Us. I read this during the Panini as well. Amazing. This was so good too. The Disappearing Act by Katherine Stedman. So good. Okay, this book was so good. I read this in like a couple hours. We Were Never Here by Andrea Bartz. And it's part of like Reese's Book Club, with, which like all the books that she picks are really good. So if you're ever like new to reading or trying to figure out what type of books you'll like any of those are really really good like i highly recommend them okay let me get more no i wasn't kidding you guys i wasn't kidding when i said i literally have so many books they're so heavy like 20 pounds oh my god oh my god okay they're everywhere okay this is really good this is translated from Italian, I believe. Um, this is like a classic. I think it is. Wait, hold on. Uh, yeah, it is translated from Italian. I'm learning Italian on Duolingo. I am Italian. I am Italian on my dad's side. So like maybe I'll read this in Italian one day if I get really good at it. But this is The Lying Life of Adults um, by Elena Ferrante. Really good. There's like every translation of that too in different languages. Astrid Sees All by Natalie Stan. I can't read this. Stanford? Standy Ford, really good. The Hunting Wives by May Cobb. I read this last summer, summer of 2021. This was really, really good. Uh, Acts of Desperation by Megan Nolan. This was amazing. We have All Girls by Emily Layden. As you can tell, I pick a lot of books based off the cover and if I'm like aesthetic vibe, I read it and I love it. So, so far we haven't been wrong. Okay, this book, so good. I read this before it was on BookTok. Like I had this book and I was reading it and like, I didn't even know the ending until, like, I didn't even expect that. This book was so, oh, this just makes me feel like I'm back in the panini, to be honest. Like, in the best way. Like, when it was, like, we were just reading and, like, we were having picnics with our friends and stuff like that. Anyways, okay. Kiss the Girls and Make Them Cry by Mary Higgins Clark. A good old mystery. Love her. She's so cute in her little blazer. 
You are not alone. Oh, this was so good. This was like a like a mystery, uh, like thriller, psychological thriller. It's called You Are Not Alone by Greer Hendricks and Sarah Pekinen. Pekinen? I don't know how to say that, but really good. Also, I realize these are going to be reversed, but that's okay. Uh, I read this during the panini as well. This one is really, this one, if you've ever, if you've gone through a friend breakup or like are experiencing that or just even distancing from your friends as you're going to college or growing up or moving away or whatever, read this. It's technically like a young adult book, but like just read it. It'll make you feel less alone. Um, it's called We Used to Be Friends by Amy Spaulding. Really, really good. Okay, this so, so, so good. It's like a mystery, murder mystery. Super good. It's by Ruth Ware in a dark, dark wood. It's one of Reese's book club picks as well. You guys, there's so many books. Oh my gosh. Okay. They wish we, they wish, they wish they were us by Jessica Goodman. Okay, amazing. And this is becoming a show as well. Um, so, how did I just, I thought I gave myself a paper cut. Um, but this one's so good. Okay, you guys, there's more. Let's go. This video is making me realize how um, big my book addiction was. Hey, it's a good addiction. If you're addicted to anything, be addicted to Lily Kincaid's music. Maybe Taylor Swift as well. A Taylor Swift as well in books. That's all you need, to be honest. That's all you need. Okay, this one's so good. The Photographer, like a psychological thriller by Mary Dixie Carter. Love. There's so many books, you guys. Oh my gosh, okay. Uh, Lee Goldberg, Lost Hills. This is like a mystery. This was a, I read this last summer. It was really good. Okay, this book is so good. This is like one of those like top, top 10, top 20 books of all time. The Tattooist of Auschwitz by Heather Morris. Based on the true story of love and survival. It's really, really, really good. I recommend this just for everybody. Classic, read it. This is really good. It's called Vox. Um, it's kind of similar. It's a dystopian novel, similar to like Handmaid's Tale, but it's set in the future, like a dystopian set in the future where like women can only speak a hundred words a day. I read this in 2020, I believe, um, but this one really good. I read this in one day as well. I read a lot of books in one day because I just want to like, I want to finish this story. Sad Girls by Lang Leave. Really, really good. There's just all of them are really, really good, so I'm gonna keep saying that. But <laughs> Severance by Ling Ma, this was really good, and this was a notable New York Times book review of the year for 2021, I believe. What year did it come out? This is really good. I really love this. Why did I get this book? Because the cover was aesthetic. The cover was aesthetic. I don't know what year it came out, but I got this last year and I read it really good. And then this, oh, I love a good psychological mystery thriller. This is called Don't You Cry by Mary Q. Becca, Mary Cubica, really good. Highly recommend. I love the eyes, different colors. Love, okay. We're on to the next shelf. You guys, there's a lot of books. Oh my God. Oh my God, I have a problem. I have a problem, but that's okay. It's a good addiction. It's a good addiction. I'm just realizing how crazy I am, like how psychotic this is, this amount of books. Like Lily, thank goodness I got the Kindle because this, this, this book addiction was really getting out of hand. I'm making like a barricade and I'm gonna like take a picture in front of it. This is actually so funny. Okay, let's hope they don't fall over. Okay. <laughs> There's so many books. I might have to go get a matcha before they close and come back and finish part two later. But maybe we'll get through it all. I just have some in my room too. Y'all better like this video because this is a lot of work. Okay. Daisy Jones and the Six, classic. Read it, Taylor Jenkins Read, one of my favorite authors of all time. This time next year, so good. Read this in one day, sobbed my eyes out by Sophie Cousins, Cousins. Lucky by Marissa Strapley. It's part of Reese's Book Club too. Amazing, love. Anything Sally Rooney, I'm obsessed with. I've read all of her books. Some people are like, I don't like it. I love this. I love like, I love this. I love it all. Okay, The Ballerinas by Rachel Car Carple Dale. Super, super, super good. It's kind of like a, I like ones that are like, relation. I like ones that are set in real world. I don't know. I either like super psychological or I like relational stuff because it's just, I don't know what interests me right now. Okay, this, one of my favorite authors, Carola Levering, she wrote another book that I'm about to show you, Tell Me Lies, that literally that book made my stomach turn. I was reading that book when a lot of things happened in my life, but also too when Red TV came out and that one just like, it made me anxious to read the book because it's like this toxic, it's, but it's so good. She has another book coming out in June. I've already pre-ordered it. I'm ready, but this one was really good as well, obviously. This book, oh, so good. Okay, just go read every book by Taylor Jenkins Reid. Every book. Amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Taylor, I love you. Um, yeah, this book's so good. So good. So good. 
I actually have a problem. You guys, <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, I need to make a TikTok with all these books. You know the audio that's like, yeah, little, the Julia Fox audio, um, I need to use that. The Bell Jar Classic, okay, everyone's read this, we love. Um, in five years, loved this. This is um, part of the Good Morning America. I'm getting like, my throat is dry. <laughs> Every time I say my throat is dry, I think of the Julie Michael song, What a Time, one of my favorite songs of all time. <sighs> my throat is getting dry and my hands are shaking. I guess that means you're close by. Da -da -da -da. Then my heart is racing. I don't even know if those words. Okay, this book is probably like a top 20 of all time. This is amazing. It's Like a Bird by Farah Rosen. I'm probably going to say that wrong, but it is amazing. I think she has, does she have other books? I can't tell. I think she does actually. Um, yeah, she does have other books, but this book was amazing. Like, just read it. I know you're gonna be like, what's it about? Just get it. Just read it. Boy Parts. I read this like a year ago, ish, a year and a half ago. So good. And now everybody's on it. As I say, I start the trends. So if you want to start, if you want to follow the trends, listen to us. Okay. Join the Kincadians. But this one is like so good and like psychological. Okay. This one's just weird, but it's really good. It's called Bunny by Mona Awad. Oh, also, I'm not saying the names. Okay. This is Boy Parts by Eliza Clark. Love. This book I sobbed to. I sobbed, um, Out of Love by Hazel Hayes. And my friend actually met her when she was in uh, London, but this book is amazing, just read it. Everyone's cult favorite, uh, Verity by Colleen Hoover. So good, I've read it, Ends With Us. I don't have it here, it's in um, LA. <laughs> Cause my mom's reading it. We're getting Ellie on the Colleen Hoover stand fam. Um, because I know, okay, this is crazy. But I'm saying this here because when it happens, I'll look back and this video is proof. I sobbed the other day when I was thinking about it I was listening, I don't know what it was. I think I saw a TikTok. I saw a TikTok on my For You page. It was like, it was Justin Balwani. I think that's how you say his last name. His TikTok, because he optioned the rights for the book. So it's being made into a movie and it's being written. I don't want to be in the movie, but like, I saw it and then I just started sobbing. And I was like, why am I sobbing? Like, why am I sobbing? I've already told you. I was like, it's just weird. Because everyone always asks me that because the main character, her name is Lily Bloom. But then obviously it's like Lily Kincaid. And like, my name is Lily Kincaid and I have red hair. Just a weird, strange thing of co coincidences. But like, I have always said like, there's a, everything works out for a reason and there's a reason why certain things happen because it's sometimes it's like, you want something, but there's something better. And like in the moment it feels like, oh my God, why isn't this happening? Like this sucks. But it's like, no, if that would have happened then this thing wouldn't have happened. And all I'm saying is like, Historic is gonna be in that movie. Historic is gonna be on that soundtrack. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but it's too perfect. So if this video somehow manages to find its way around to them, like, it will historic like the lyrics the lyrics are too spot on with like Lily and Al. it's too <sighs> let me just read verse two just this once could lightning strike in the same place twice could be catastrophic but I don't mind this once in a lifetime is not enough for the two of us you ruined my life came and wrecked on my plan second I called you mine second you took my hand you ruined my life there's no way I can go back to before this because you and I are pretty historic our chemistry we couldn't ignore it we were so iconic everybody wanted what we had can't go back to before this because you and I were pretty historic I'm sorry, it's too perfect. Okay, I gotta keep going because there's so many books. Okay, this is Insatiable by Daisy Buchanan. Love this, love the aesthetic of it. These are all really good. Thank you to whatever Kincaidian is going to make a list of these. I'm giving you a virtual hug. Thank you for doing that because I just don't have the time right now to type, it all, type them all out. Um, okay, this is called Truly Devious by Maureen Johnson. Love. Ask Again Yes by Mary Beth Keen. Love. The Anatomy of Desire by L.R. Dorn. This is really cool and it reads kind of like a podcast, which is very interesting, really cool. Ghosted by Rosie Walsh. Love, love a good mystery. There's so many, you guys. Um, this is The Girl He Used to Know by Tracy Garvis Graves. Amazing. There's, I literally have so many books. This is like a bad, okay. Fiona and Jane by Jean Chu Ho. Really, really good. This is a newer book that came out probably December or January. So good. Whisper Network by Chandler Baker. Read this in 2020. Really good. It's part of Reese's book club. I feel like I'm talking so fast. Okay. Oh, this book was so good. This is on Book Talk. I definitely bought this when it was on Book Talk. The Love Hypothesis by Ali Hazelwood. So good. I'm a, I'm a sucker for a good romance novel. Okay, Still Lives by Maria Hummel. It's part of Reese's book club. This is super fascinating and cool. Love that. Love that. Um, Milk Fed by Melissa Broder was really good. Uh, this book, so, 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 so good. Um, it's set in the 70s, I believe. I read this in, maybe last summer I read this. I can tell because it's wet from the beach. <laughs> like, not wet, but like, you know when it dries 
after it's been wet. It's called The Girls by Emma Klein, and I just love it. I love that aesthetic. I love that vibe. Sob my eyes out to this. Thank you, Colleen, for that. Um, Ugly Love by Colleen Hoover. If you know, you know. If you don't know, read that book, and you're going to be crying like all of us. Um, Eve's Hollywood by Eve Baptiste. Really good. I'm pretty sure I read this in 2020. Love that. Love anything that talks about Hollywood or old Hollywood. Oh, I saw my eyes out to this, and I read this book in the bathtub. Uh, and I can tell because the pages are like warped from them getting wet. I cried. I cried my eyes. This is Forever Interrupted by Taylor Jenkins Reid. I can't. This might have been her first novel. I don't know. But I've read a lot of her books, but she's amazing. She's like one of my favorite authors. Read anything by her, and you will be obsessed. This is really good. I read this um, in January, I believe. Miranda Beverly Whitmore, June. Honestly, I just thought the cover was pretty aesthetic. So, uh, okay, next one is The Perfect Ruin by Shinora Williams. This is really good. Anything that's like a pick, like Target pick or like New York Times pick or like Reese's Book Club or any of those are always really good too. So like you can't go wrong with any of those. Oh, this book was so good. This book, oh, I read this in December because I was like, I have to read it in December. Like I have to, you know what I mean? It's called One Day in December. It's just a romance book, but it's just like, you gotta read it in December. I'm a sucker for those books. I love them. Uh, this book, Devoured in One Day. I cannot wait for this show. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. It's gonna be weird to see Joe, but it's gonna be cool. I'm very excited, but anything Sally Rooney, I, I want. Okay, this is the book, the other book by Carola Lovering. I hope that's how I say her name. Tell Me Lies. It's so good. I, I stayed up all night reading this. It's really good. Love this. I also just love the cover. Did I, I saw this on TikTok and it was like, just get this book. And so I just got it without even reading anything about it. So good. So, so, so good. Also like another book, obviously, Normal People. I don't have it it's in LA because I'm getting my mom to read Normal People and like It Ends With Us and like classics. But yeah, Normal People, I literally read that book, stayed up all night reading it, then proceeded to watch the show and sobbed my eyes out as I was, you know, getting my heart broken last summer. So it was perfect timing. Okay, the last book I have over here to show you guys is Ghost by Dolly Alderton. I love this. I think this is her first work of fiction. I read her memoir, which I have in the other room. I'll show it to you. It's You've probably seen it on TikTok or Instagram. It's like everything I know about blank. Like it's crossed out and it says love, but it's amazing. She's from the UK. She's from Europe. She's from, she's not American, it, it's, which is cool. I just love that. Um, but this was her like fiction book and it was really good. Romantic comedy. Loved, loved, loved. Okay. Oh my god, these books are literally ridiculous. Look at this. I'm gonna go get the books from my bedroom, but like, <sighs> you guys. Ah! Okay, I'll be back. One sec. One sec. Like, this is so many books. <sighs> but this makes me feel smart. To be honest, like, all of these books make me feel so smart. Like, I wasn't just on my phone watching TikToks. I, all I do, like, people are like, how do you read all the time? I'm like, what I do is I. I literally tell you guys everything. I write songs, I read, I like to go to the beach, I like to chat with you guys on the Discord, I like to hang out with my friends. I'm like more like less like quality over quantity, you know? Okay, Girls of a Certain Age by Maria Aldeman. Aldeman. These are short stories, really, really good, really good. Brene Brown's Atlas of the Heart, I just read actually on the plane right here a week ago. And I think she has a Hulu show, Breaking It Down. I highly recommend this for anybody. It goes over like 70 or something, 78 maybe. Uh, it might be more than that. It goes over all different emotions and just like, she's amazing. Anything by her, I love, I love. Uh, so good. Okay, The Shimmering State by Meredith Westgate. Did I buy this book because the cover was aesthetic and pretty? Yes. Did I like it? Yes. Every Last Secret by A.R. Tor. Mystery, we love. Okay, this book was really cool. Atomic Love by Jenna, Jenny Fields. It's, it's just really cool. It's a like historical fiction, but it's really good. Okay, this book I read in one day. Punk 57, had no clue what it was about, but I saw everyone on TikTok buying it, so I bought it too. So Good by Penelope Douglas. Guys, there's, there's books everywhere. Uh, Intimacies by Katie Kitamura. This is really, 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 really good too. Did I buy this because of the cover? Yes. Um, this book, If He Had Been With Me, Heartbreaking by Lauren Nowlin. This book, obviously. Um, what was it? Didn't, oh, wasn't, wasn't it Taylor Swift 
read this and wrote tolerated about it. Uh, this is like a classic tale of romantic suspense is like the tagline. The show too. Yeah, the film, not the show, the film with Lily James. Beautiful, but this is Rebecca by Daphne de, Daphne de Maria. Probably said that wrong, okay. This is Miranda Popkey Topics of Conversation. It's kind of like a sh short story type form, but really good. And, and then, uh, The Woman Destroyed by Simone de Beauvoir. I do not know how to say her name, but classic. And also the cover is extremely aesthetic. So you know what, sometimes you just wanna be in a, co a cafe and you wanna pull it out and you wanna be like, yeah, I'm a hot girl reading books, you know? Perfect for that. Okay, there's a little bit more. I'm gonna go get them. Oh, oh wait, you guys I have a whole stack here. I forgot to show you. I have a whole stack here. I forgot. Um, these are ones I just read. I read these each probably in like one or two days. They were that good. Um, Taylor Jenkins read One True Loves. Amazing. Of course, November 9th. Of course, by Colleen. All Your Perfects. Maybe Sunday. Maybe someday. I'm like, every book by her is amazing. Okay. We're getting there, we're getting there. We have probably like two more trips. I'm seeing how crazy my addiction is now. This is actually wild, this is insane. Thank goodness I got the Kindle because this is crazy. Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, amazing. I actually read part, of, I read this last summer, but like I don't really, really remember reading it, reading it. So I'm probably gonna bring this with me because I love I love how they made it look like a vintage book. Like, But yes, love. Um, how to Date Men When You Hate Men by Blythe Robertson. Love, also very aesthetic, cute little like coffee table book. Without Merit by Colleen Hoover. She knocks it out of the park every time. She really does. Okay, this is amazing. I was reading this way before everybody else was reading it, okay? Um, it is 101 Essays That Will Change the Way You Think by Brianna West. Sometimes I even will go back to this book and I'll just flip open to a random page and like, you know, it kind of always like resonates. But I absolutely, absolutely love that. Okay, the camera's kind of like blurry. Okay. Hope you guys can see this. I hope what it, I hope that, I hope it turns out fine. I probably look a little crazy, but that's okay. There's just books flying absolutely everywhere. Okay. People you follow. This is amazing. I read this in 2020 when it came out. Um, it's by Haley Jean Penner, one of my Insta friends, and she's an amazing songwriter. It's a memoir. If you're in the entertainment industry or in songwriting or just like stories about people, it's really good. Relationships, everything. So good. I would highly recommend reading that. Okay, Her Body and Other par Parties by Carmen Maria Machido. This was so good. This was so... It's like psychological realism and science fiction comedy humor. This is so good. I can't even like describe these good enough. Um, I love memoirs. Like I love memoirs. I love reading about people's lives. I don't know. Maybe that's like the songwriter in me, like the storyteller in me. Um, this is Wayward by Alice Gretchen. It's a, mem a memoir and she was like an actor. Or she is an actor. I'm trying to think of what she was on that you would know off the top of my head, but that's really good too. It kind of talks about her upbringing. Um, I read Jessica Simpson's book, loved, open, open book by Jessica Simpson, love that. Also this, Untamed, I read this during the Panini uh, by Glennon Doyle, amazing, 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 amazing. I think everybody should read this book. Literally, even if you're like, I don't really need, I don't wanna read a self-help book, it's not even a self-help book, it's just like, just read it, okay? And then, okay, On Her Knees. This was an amazing, I remember the day I read this actually. <laughs> like this day was so, like this changed a lot for me because my, in my mindset, but this book was so good. Um, by Brenda Marie Davies. Uh, it's, it's her memoir and it's just beautiful. It's just amazing. Um, highly recommend reading that. Okay, I just read this. This was uh, amazing. This is called A Very Nice Girl. It, it's giving me normal people vibes a little bit. Like the, the little tagline is like devastating. Sweet, better meets normal people. Really good. This is a new book. It just came out, but really, really, really good. Night Shift, really, really good by Kiare Ladner. This is also by Imogen Crimp. I don't know if I said that. I'm getting buried in books. Oh my God. Okay. The City We Became by K. By N.K. Jemison, so good. I love anything that talks about cities or, you know, okay, this book was wild. I read this in one day and I finished the book feeling like, what just happened? But I was taken on this journey. I got this like the day it came out or like really soon after it came out. It's really good and super like, super, just like, just read it, okay? It's called Other People's Clothes by Kala Henkel. It's, it's really good. Like I, it's a dark, psychologically rich, utterly addictive, plot driven, thrilling book, okay? Okay, let me try to get, I could probably do two more rounds. 
finally, oh my gosh, um, okay. I have Queen Lana's poetry book, love. Um, this was an amazing, these are short stories. This is so good, it's called Someone Who Will Love You In All Your Damaged Glory. I bought it because I was like, it's aesthetic looking, had no clue what it was about, read it, just get it, just get it. It's by the creator of Bojack Horseman too, I believe. It's by Raphael Bob Waksberg. Um, okay, this is really good. Homesick for Another World. So, so, so good. This book I just read, this is really good. This is a, like, memoir. This is a memoir. I love memoirs. As you guys will start to see, I love memoirs. The Lonely Hunter by Amy Lucan. How Our Search for Love is Broken. I saw this on TikTok as well. Uh, Sex and Rage by Eve Baptist. This is just, like, a classic. Like, this is just a good, like, read. It's kind of similar to this. Like, same realm as this. Really good, though. Um, this is another memoir. This is so cool. I just randomly saw this. Um, I think I saw a TikTok. Being Lolita, a memoir by Allison Wood. Really good. Really good. Okay, this is my favorite memoirs. Oh my god, I need to do a whole video talking about memoirs. What I Was Doing While You Were Breeding, a memoir by Kristen Newman. Bye, bye, bye. This is like my top 10 books of all time. Just get it. Get it. Same with this one. Everything I Know About Love by Dolly Alderton, the girl who wrote Ghost that I was talking about earlier. Obsessed. Like these two are like top, top two memoirs. So, so good. Um, Cassie Davis's memoir I read, which I really liked. It's kind of like essays. It's not a memoir. It's more like essays. No one asked for this. Love that. Um, Want Me, this was really good too. This was a memoir, A Sex Writer's Journey into the Heart of Desire by Tracy Clark Flory. Really good. I just love memoirs. And then this, to finish it off, this is an amazing book. I think if you get one book, maybe actually get, get this. Also, I'm working on doing my own nails. This is the first time I'm doing them. Yes, they don't look that good. Yes, they don't look perfect. But you know what? I'm excited to do something every week, do my own gel and like get better at it and learn a new skill. So it kind of matches the vibe today though. Anyways, Conversations on Love by Natasha Loon. Lun. Um, this book is amazing. This book is amazing. Oh, it's like, oh, just get it. Just get it. Just get it. Anyways. That's it for now. <laughs> that's it for now. You may be like, Lily, you are actually psychotic. But you know what? I love to read. Um, but anyways, that's it for now. Oh my God, this video is going to be like an hour. Anyways, well, hope you guys like those books. I don't even know what else to say. I feel like, okay, we're gonna be, we're gonna do some more top, topics and some more like motivational speeches and things and I'll do vlogs. Let me know, you guys have gotta let me know though because otherwise I don't know. Like, let me know if there's like a certain topic you want me to talk about or if there is a like, um, if there's a certain, sorry, there's a weird person trying to sign into my Apple TV, Apple, T, Apple TV, not TV, Apple account from like, a weird country that I've never heard of. So annoying. Anyways, um, let me know if there's like a specific topic you want me to talk about or like a certain, like if you're like, oh, I want to see vlogs. I want to see like weekly vlogs or daily vlogs. Or it could be like, I want to, I'm struggling with this. Or like, can you talk about this or talk about how you did this? Because I want to make sure that I'm doing what you guys like. Um, make sure to like, if you've made it this far, obviously, like you are already a Kincaidian. You are indoctrinated into the Kincaidian family already. I love you. If you've made it this far, I want you to comment. We've got to think of like a weird emoji. That's like specific. Comment the alien head emoji if you've made it this far and then I'll be like, you made it to the end. You a real one, no pun intended. Go stream real, okay you guys, I'm gonna go in the car. I wanna go get matcha before they close. The matcha place is closed so early here. But I love you. Thanks for being here on this journey. Thanks for geeking out over books and new music and that pasta with me. <laughs> I love you. Um, share this video with a friend. Invite them into the Lily Kincaid fam because we are all about inclusivity and making people feel seen and heard in their weird emotions. And that's what I hope to do with my music. I can't wait to meet you. I love you so much. Um, yeah. I love you. Oh my God, I'm so awkward. Okay, bye.